In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome and really simple wiggle text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we'll go File, New, Sequence. We'll go over into the Settings tab. You want to change the Editing Mode to Custom. The time base should be 23.976 frames per second, as that is the industry standard. Frame size is 1920 by 1080. We'll do a 1080 composition. The pixel aspect ratio can be changed from whatever it's set to, to square pixels 1.0. Fields should be no fields progressive scan. And then we can just go ahead and rename this to whatever we like. And then we'll press OK. Now, from there, we need to go ahead and create a brand new title. So we'll go up to File, press New, Legacy Title, and we'll press OK on this window. Now, in the Legacy Title window, you just want to go ahead and create a title of your choice. So we're just going to select anywhere in this black video, type out a word of your choice. And then you can go ahead and you can change the fonts of this. You can change the weights. You can change the size. You can change the color. Do whatever you like to this text. But once you're happy with the look of this, you just want to exit the legacy title window and drag that title on to video layer one. Now we're just going to zoom into the timeline by pressing the plus button. And as you can see, our title is roughly four seconds long. Now from here, we want to go over into effects and we're going to search for an effect called turbulent displacement. If you just search for turb, T-U-R-B, it should come up under the distort setting that is turbulent displace. We're going to drop that onto our title. And as you can see, that's going to make our title look weird and distorted, but that's fine. We're going to go into effect controls and in effect controls, you'll find turbulent displace. Scroll to the very beginning of your timeline. So the timer code should be set to 0000000. 000 000 000 000 000 000 000. And then we're going to go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on the evolution. So we'll press the stopwatch icon. We'll scroll to the end of the movement and we'll increase the evolution all the way up to a stupidly high number. So at the moment, I'm 10 times 358. It doesn't have to be this exact number. It can be whatever you like. But the higher you set this, the more wiggling you're going to get in the animation. So if you want loads of wiggle, pull this up to a stupidly high number. If you want a little bit of wiggle, pull this down to a smaller number. So if we play this back, you can see we've got this really weird jelloing effect happening. Yes, this is technically a wiggle effect, but this is a little bit too much for my liking. It's a bit intense. So in order to fix that, we just want to go up to amount that's under the displacement setting. We'll pull the amount down to five. We'll go down to size and we'll pull this down to five as well. And if we play this back, you can see there's not a lot happening, even though we've got all of this animation supposed to be happening. So we're going to increase the amount. Let's go up to 30%. We'll pull the size up to 30 as well. And we'll play this back. And you can definitely see the animation now, although it's still a little bit too intense for my liking. So I'm just going to pull the size down to around 10%. We've got the amount set to 30. And if we play this back, there you go. We've got this really awesome wiggling effect happening on our text. And there you go. That is the wiggle text effect. 